Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today, it's my pleasure, I have two guests and I'd like them to introduce themselves. First, Rocky, could you introduce yourself? Aloha. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, my name is Rocky Bustamante, and I am the food service sales manager for the Hawaii market for Pepsi Beverages Company. Um, been in Hawaii for two years, but been with Pepsi for nine. And thank you so much for having me, Cheryl. Thank you, Rocky. And Michael, you want to Hello, everyone, yourself? and thank you, Cheryl, for inviting me uh, to this great show. Um, I am the Hawaii Regional Sales Manager. Um, for a company called JTM Food Group. Um, we operate out of all 50 states, including Hawaii, on every island. And uh, I've been with them a little over five years, but I grew up in Hawaii, lived here over 40. Um, so we're excited um, about today's show. Over 40? You're not even past 30 years old, Michael. What are you talking oh, about? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so today we are giving our viewers a taste of the hotel and restaurant show, the official trade show of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association and Star Vets. This trade show, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, is a trade show and it is open to our food service and our hospitality industry. Registration is highly recommended. In 2019, we had over 3,000 people registered, and at the end of the day, we had 4,000 attendees. So please, we had anticipate a larger um, attendance. So if you could register early, it'll really save you time in the check-in line. So when is the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show? It is Wednesday, March 30th and 31st. That's right. We are three weeks away from the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. There is so much buzz. In the last two days alone, I had six phone calls from companies that inquired and ended up reserving booths. And they're excited to fly in their teams from different parts of the United States. Our show will offer the latest and greatest in food service industry and the hospitality industry all in one place. And this is the show you won't want to miss if you're in our industry. 2019 was our inaugural show and it was a huge success. How do I measure success? Because I heard firsthand from many of our HRA members that business transactions were happening right there on the floor of the show which is how I know we will sell out in booths this year. We only have a handful still available. So if you're interested, contact me ASAP. So first, let's go over to Mike. And Mike, share with me your experience back in 2019 and why you decided to get a booth this year at our 2022 HHRS show. Well, it was a very successful show on so many fronts and uh, it was new, it was an inaugural. And so no one knew what to expect, but what um, I really enjoyed and JTM really enjoyed um, is, is the fact that the people attending the show are all industry leaders in the hotel, restaurant, whether they're owners, chefs, or uh, procurement executives. So every person walking through or past you is a potential customer. Um, and that was exciting. And, and we really um, leveraged all of that. Um, unfortunately, COVID hit and here we are with our second show, but um, the buzz is out there for this show. And if you don't have a booth currently, I highly recommend getting it. I mean, it was very successful for us. Um, Gerald Shintaku from Star Events uh, and his team did an amazing job running it, made it very simple, um, load in, load out, uh, trash pickup, everything you can think of was all handled. Um, so from my perspective, from a vendor um, and a participant, I'm excited for this show and the future of this show um, and where it goes. I believe it will be the biggest show in the Pacific um, over the next three to five years for sure. Thank you, Michael. So Rocky, what was your experience in 2019 and why did you decide to get another booth this year at our 2021 HHRS? I mean, 2022 HHRS. <laughs> Yeah, so Cheryl, this will actually be my first um, first time attending the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. 
but Pepsi has had some really good experiences in the past. I know during that inaugural year, um, we actually made contact with Hawaii Volcanic Water, a distributor that um, you know, just hit it off really well with our leadership team. And um, a year later, we were distributing their products in Hawaii and now in the West Division. So great, great contacts from that um, standpoint. And then, you know, beyond that, for me, it's, it's about a couple things. You know, I think it's great that we can support um, our partners and the local Hawaii industry out here um, after the challenges these past couple of years with restrictions and limits on the industry it's nice for us to go back out and um, do things like this again um, and then as you know Cheryl I've, I'm a little newer to the market only been um, in Hawaii for two years me and my wife moved right during the pandemic so it's been really hard to meet people and make those connections and I think this is a great way um, to meet those industry experts, potential customers, and even like-minded individuals. Um, a Hawaii Restaurant Association, Association event is where I met this guy, Mike, over here, and we <laughs> hit it off pretty well. And then, you know, the, the last reason we want to get a booth is to, to really showcase the new and exciting products and services um, with the industry we have all the movers and shakers for the hotels and restaurants in the same room and definitely want to connect with them and show them all the new things we have to offer from pepsico for this industry thank you rocky and i missed i know that you had your latest um drinks at our last event and i missed it i'm so sorry do you want to share a little bit about some of the products and the new products that you'll be uh, featuring at the 2022 hhrs yeah ab absolutely cheryl so we we at PepsiCo pride ourselves on our innovation, and so we're always coming up with something new, whether it's the fun chips or the new flavors for Mountain Dew. Uh, Mountain Dew Spark is out, um, great taste and flavor. Um, but one of the ones I wanted to highlight um, that we'll be sharing with the um, exhibitors at the HHRS is a new product called our SodaStream Professional. Um, so SodaStream Professional, it's, it's part of our journey to provide more sustainable beverage options um, to our customers and consumers. And what it is, is it's a modern water refill station that creates drinking water um, that tastes and hydrates without any single use plastic. And what really sets us apart is the flavors and the technologies in this machine. Um, first off, it's fully customizable. Um, you can select if you want sparkling water or still. You can adjust the temperature of the water. Um, and then from a flavor standpoint, you can add shots like uh, raspberry lime or lemon mints and even ad adjust the boldness from, you know, just light flavor to really strong. Um, really good product. Definitely recommend the team check it out um, at the show. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was the technology with the unit, um, both for the user and the operator, um, is just really phenomenal what the team has put together. Um, for consumers, it provides an easy, um, user-friendly system, contactless pouring options, ADA accessibility, and even tracks how much um, plastic bottles are saved and water is consumed. And then for the operator, um, it allows access to full data tracking, alerts for filter changes, low flavor shots, and most importantly, it, it offers options to monetize um, if necessary. So these are all great things that um, the competitors in this space aren't doing today, and we're really proud of the SodaStream professional system that we have and can't wait to show it off at the booth. That is so cool, Rocky. And that's what this show is all about. It's about featuring all of the latest technologies and, and current trends that are happening in our food service industry. So Michael, I'm always at your booth. You always have really tasty um, newest products that you are also distributing. So do you wanna share a little taste of your newest products that you'll be sharing at the HHRS show? Would love to. I kind of have two umbrellas at the uh, at the show. 
um, under the Cisco umbrella, we're featuring our newest item that Cisco National just picked up. Um, it's going to be launching March 15th. It's called Roasted Street Corn, and it will be in Hawaii. So usually we're six months to a year behind uh, any national launch in Hawaii just because of our location. Um, but we're excited to announce that item, which will be in the core food booth, uh, core food service food booth under the Cisco umbrella. And that's our newest, latest, great item. Um, goes on a bunch of things from fish tacos to nachos to, um, I mean, it, it goes on everything. It's pretty good. It's a great item and go sample it. And the nice thing about it is two year shelf life from frozen. Um, all you do is heat and serve, which is exciting. And it's a labor saver, which we all know is the number one thing plaguing Hawaii's hotel and, and restaurant association and the restaurants and hotels out there right now. So that's what we do. So we make 600 items um, for customers all across the country. Um, they're chef quality speed scratch items that are easy to use and they save on labor. So come by my booth where I'll be featuring four items that are already on island so you could literally buy it from me today or that day um, and uh, the four items are premium chili um, it's a very kind of a medium spice chili small small bites it's it's good for the whole family it's not too spicy um, i'm also doing two mac and cheeses one is our deli mac and uh, our other one is our three cheese white mac which i call the adult mac and cheese um, because it has kava tapi um, uh, pasta in it versus an elbow. But, um, and then my last item, I'm featuring something different this time. It's our, it's our um, cinnamon apple filling. So if you own a bakery, uh, <laughs> like Liliha, <laughs> uh, it's the perfect uh, apple pie filling, um, but it, it can be little desserts and everything else. And, and what we, what I want to emphasize is that during COVID, our company really reached out to a lot of the hotels under the Avendra umbrella and we became an Avendra partner which we'll be announcing at the show as well and there's a lot of hotels here that uh work under that umbrella as under Avendra so I got 20 items there um, on a list but I'm only featuring four um, that you could get on island at, um, at this point but the nice thing about what we do is we target employee meals so one person can pretty much feed 300 to a thousand employees with what we provide to a hotel. So again, if labor's your issue, um, come see me. I'll help you solve that problem and give you great um, chef quality speed scratch items, um, which will help you save some money with the labor. So that's what's going on with JTM Food Booth number 111. <laughs> I love it, Michael. And I'm always at your booth. I just enjoy, you know, tasting all the different um, food offerings that you have, and they're so delicious. Um, one of the things, Michael, that you shared with me last year was that you were able to connect with somebody at the show. And do you want to tell our viewers and share with them a little bit about what happened? Sure. So, you know, again, uh, out there in the field, a lot of times you miss people because they're busy or or, you know, just mistiming and, and everything else. But um, the show was so awesome is that everyone that I had a list for um, pretty much showed up and came to my booth and I was able to meet them, get their contact information, show them what we do. And it's more important to, to have that face-to-face -face engagement, um, which you get um, at, at this show. And, and we were very fortunate. Uh, we had a great response from this. Um, we got into several large hotels. I don't want to name them, but yeah, several large hotels. Um, and uh, we're excited for the same clientele visiting us uh, this year, if not more. And um, like Cheryl said earlier, is, is the excitement is out there. I mean, we've been down for two years. People are looking for new items, new technology like Pepsi. Um, and and this show is going to have it all. So I rec strongly recommend that you come.
Thank Especially you, if you're in the outer islands, sorry. <laughs> yeah. well, yes, you're right. Even the outer islands, um, the neighbor islands, yes. um, we have also special hotel pricing mm -hmm. for people coming over that need to have. So that's the calls that I've been getting. You know, they want to reserve a booth. They want to know if we have special hotel pricing. We also have a trolley that will be going around the Waikiki area, picking up people at designated locations. I think there's three designated locations to make the transportation a lot easier as right now you know rental cars are very high, hard to come by mm -hmm. so we try to give as much convenience as possible to get to the show so before i switch the topic is there anything the two of you want to share more about the show or what you're doing to prepare for the show and what you're looking forward to for the show I'm looking forward to visiting Mike's booth, man. <laughs> All that stuff sounds so delicious. Thank you. Exactly. I'm always visiting Mike's booth. It's always so fun. And we have many, many other food um, vendors that will also be doing the same thing, right, Mike? In, yes. the, in the show, right? So, so what, I, what I see at the at, in 2019, which I know will happen uh, this year as well, is all the booth vendors are all going to kind of walk around and see each other and things are going to spark ideas like Pepsi is going to come to my booth. I'm going to go to theirs and vice versa. You're going to see technology. You're going to see equipment, you know, people that sell an equipment and everything else. So it's a, it's a great one-stop food show that uh, um, you should be a part of, especially since we've been shut down for two years. And the first one was such a success. Uh, this one I know will be even more successful. Um, you you should be at this show. I mean, if you're on the outer island, make the commitment, come here, see what everybody's doing, and then you take great ideas, great technology back to your your island, and and really um, stand out from the rest for sure. Yeah, and, and just you, speaking Mike. on that neighbor island point, all the things that we're showcasing um, at the show, it's not just for Honolulu, it is for the neighbor islands, um, Big Island, Maui, Kauai. Um, we have Pepsi teams out there as well that um, are always looking for great ideas to partner with their restaurants and hotels out there as well. Good point. Thank you so much. And, and I know, Michael, you cover all islands also. Yes. 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 Except me, he <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> another another component that's going to be different this year at the HHRS is that we'll be having a. Uh, um, silent auctions. And so how it's going to work is there'll be two silent auction fundraisers, each held by the presenting association. So Hawaii Restaurant Association will have their own silent auction and the HLTA will have their own silent auction. And each of the fundraisers will benefit our educational foundation. So if anyone would like to donate an item or a gift card, the items that Hawaii Restaurant Association collects will support the HRA Educational Foundation and our future workforce and our future employees with scholarships. And that will help them further their culinary and hospitality education. The HRAEF, which we're fondly called, supports local public high school two-year pro-start programs. And these culinary programs are for juniors and seniors in public high schools. And they receive a two-year culinary training. So for those restaurateurs out there looking for future employees, this is where you're going to get the pool. In the pro-start culinary program, they have the opportunity to receive their food safe handling certificates. They learn knife skills and all the components on how to run a kitchen and how to run a restaurant. We just held our Pro Start instructors quarterly meetings and I'm thrilled to announce that every single instructor stated that their enrollment in their culinary programs will be growing in August of 2022. So that's really great to hear when we are struggling for employees. So to learn more about how you can get involved or donate to the Sun and Auction, just email me at info at hawaiirestaurant.org and we'll make arrangements to collect it. And we want to thank you for participating in our fundraiser to support um, future scholarships. 
the hotel and restaurant show is the largest showcase of Hawaii's food service and hospitality industry. Our show connects the very best in our industry. So again, everyone, March 30th and 31st at the Hawaii Convention Center, I invite our food service and our hospitality industry to register for free. But remember, it is only open to our industry only. It's a trade show. We also have just a handful of booths still available. So as Michael said, you know, to reserve your booth and to register to attend the show, just go to hawaiihotelandrestaurantshow.com and you'll be able to register. So gentlemen, we have like another few minutes. Is there anything that I missed before we close the show? Well, I just wanted to, again, thank you for inviting us on, Cheryl. It's always, it's always good talking with you and always good seeing you. Um, for, for those who are coming to the show, definitely stop by the Pepsi booth um, to check out the SodaStream units. But even if that's not something that's um, right for your business, come stop by and say hi. Um, you know, for, for Pepsi partners, it's always good to see you. And for for non-Pepsi partners, you know, we, it's also good to see you too and, and talk story. We offer lots of services from fountains, coolers, bar guns, um, and all the best products at really competitive prices. Or if you just want to say hi, you're, you're welcome to say hi too. Okay. And uh, um, for me, I just wanted to, and I forgot to mention that uh, for my position, I do travel to a lot of mainland shows all across the country. I would say five to seven a year, including the National Restaurant Association. And in comparing Hawaii and what we're doing here and what they're doing on the mainland, I really enjoy the Hawaii Restaurant Association show. Um, very well run, like I said, with Gerald Shintaku and Star Events. But um, it's just getting that personal contact where, where, where we weren't getting it before versus the mainland where it's just a madhouse. So you're basically fighting for every, the same people. So it's a little more relaxed. You have a lot of time to chat with people, get to know them, get their contacts and get to see what they're interested in. Um, and because a lot of the stuff that we make sometimes comes from the industry where they're looking for something, I'm not providing it, but three, four months from now I could, you know? So uh, it's a win-win for everybody to be there. Um, if you don't have a booth, you should get one. If you at, at the very least attend, um, especially the outer islands. Uh, I, I know it's uh, getting busy out there and uh, to have all these great tools and, and new ideas and things that will help you save money and labor um, with, with great JTM food items and other uh, competitors of mine that will be there. Um, it's a, it's a no brainer. You need to be at this show. Thank you, gentlemen. And another valuable component of why attend the HHRS show is our educational seminars. You know, that's where you'll learn what's new and cutting edge in our industry and where you'll get to meet all of the industry leaders. So check out the website again, Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. Register so that you can cut through that line and not have to fill out all the forms at the, at the re registration desk. And you'll see the list of our educational seminars. They're always well attended. It's how you will stay informed and updated on what's happening in our food service industry. So gentlemen, before I close, is there anything else that I missed because I'm getting the two minute warning? <laughs> Nothing else I missed. Yeah, so enough. great. Every, thank you, everyone. So again, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is the largest of Hawaii's food service and hospitality industry. Our show connects the best in our industry, March 30th and 31st at the Convention Center. And we do have a handful of booths still available. So to reserve, just email me at info at hawaiirestaurant.org. And again, Hawaii Restaurant Association is the voice of Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.